A problem statement is a clear, concise description of the issue that needs to be addressed by the researcher. It describes the current gaps and the consequences of the problem. The most important step in the research process is finding the right and the relevant questions to ask. Selecting and then the wording of these problem or purpose statements are the most important parts of the research craft. A research problem statement is a clear statement about an area of concern, a condition that needs to be improved, or a troubling question that exists in academic literature or in theory or in practice. This calls for a meaningful and systematic investigation. Clarity about the research problem statement helps the researcher in two ways. Firstly, it limits the relevant information that he requires. It tells the researcher which information needs to be used and which one needs to be avoided. Also, a clear purpose statement informs the researcher which method or technique to adopt. There are two important requirements for an ideal research problem statement. We must choose those problem statements that are doable. We may not have the special skills or the time and money to research all issues we feel need to be addressed. For example, we may not have the coding skills required in a particular project. Also, the problem statements should not be too broad. They must be narrow and focused. Also, it must not be too trivial. At the same time, it should relate to the particular discipline or field. We discover research questions from many sources. Our own personal experience is a rich source of research questions. Research literature often suggests future research. That's a good source for research questions. We may also get problem statements from social theory or there might be commissioned research projects which ask for certain problem statements. We'll now discuss five important guidelines to construct the research problem statement. Firstly, the problem statements must be stated explicitly without any ambiguity. Usually, they are constructed as questions. Sometimes, research problem questions are stated as purpose statement or even as study objectives. Secondly, except in the case of the simple exploratory study, the problem statements should include at least two variables. One of these variables could be a constant. In the early stages of the research, the researcher might start off with only one variable, but they should generally be followed up with the standard form of two or more variables. Thirdly, problem statements must be testable. That means it must not yield just one answer. If it yields just one answer, then it's not worthy of research. So a testable problem must be capable of yielding more than one answer. Problem statements should not have any kind of personal value judgments. These problem statements should not make sweeping generalizations or irresponsible pronouncements. It should not include unspecific determinants like very or giant or huge.
प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट मस्ट बी क्लियर एंड कंप्लीट ग्रामेटिकल स्टेटमेंट इट शुड नॉट हैव एनी अननेसेसरी जागन और ओवरली कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस कंस्ट्रक्शन इट शुड आइडेंटिफाई द की कॉन्सेप्ट एंड टर्म्स we'll now discuss four different ways of constructing the research problem statement one of the simpler ways of constructing the research problem statement is the difference research problem this typically looks for differences between two or more groups for example a simple research problem statement could be is there a difference on mobile usage between different income groups the descriptive research problem typically asks what is for example what changes in public funding have led to the rise of broadband use so descriptive research problem is one way of constructing the research problem statement a very useful way is the relational research problem statement so it uses the format what is the relationship between dash and dash for example what is the relationship between the amount of television watched and the level of anxiety about personal safety the casuist research problem discusses questions of ethics and what is right or wrong so it's a process of reasoning that seeks to resolve moral problems by extending theoretical rules from a particular case so when we have questions of right or wrong or a research on ethics we use this method so to summarize in general there should be no more than four research questions underpinning a single research problem unlike a research topic a research problem is something that needs to be investigated it generally is written as a short paragraph